Printify tutorial, sell print on demand products with Shopify. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with selling print on demand products using Printify. So let's get into it. Now, all of us have heard of, you know, creating our own product and drop shipping them, but that can be super hard with suppliers. However, using a platform like Printify, which is specifically built for print on demand services, you can get your products designed, created, and then sent to your customers all via Printify. And all you have to do is manage your store and just keep up your store upkeep. So let's get started. Now, the first thing you're going to do is click on start for free on printify.com and create your Printify account. Now I have signed up on Printify with my email address and that's all you have to do. Now, once you do that, you have your store setup checklist and you're just going to click on connect to Etsy or Shopify. Now from here, you're going to select Shopify and you're going to enter the URL of your Shopify store. So I am going to go into Shopify over here and log into my account. And once I have logged into my account, so now that I have logged on to my Shopify store, I'm going to click on settings on the bottom left. And once you click on settings, you're going to click on apps and sales channels. Now, once you've done that, click on the Shopify app store on the top right. And then from here, we're going to download the Printify application. So just search for Printify over here. And once you open up this particular application, click on install. And once you do that, because you have already logged on with Printify on the same browser, it will allow you to build or establish a connection quicker. So just like that, I have just installed the Printify application onto my Shopify store and I will log into my account over here as well. And once I have logged into my account, I will have Printify opened up over here in my Shopify store. Now I can click on open full site to see the entirety of Printify or I can get started with designing directly on the Shopify version as well. Now I like to design on a full screen, so I like to open the full site to make it easier for me to work with. So I'm going to click on open full site and click on my store over here. And from here, I can get started with creating my own product. So to get started with building our own product, we're going to go into the catalog and from here you have multiple different types of items that you can pick out from. So if you want to design anything from clothing, accessories, home and living, mugs, rugs, home decor, trinkets, blankets, and much more, you can go on ahead and choose the particular category you want to be designing items in. So let's say for this tutorial I want to be designing a t-shirt and then once I've done that I want this one over here. Now there are multiple different variations of the same product available. This might be variations with color, material, suppliers, as well as delivery times. So choose a supplier that is going to provide you with the lowest delivery time and the best quality possible. Now, there are multiple different variations in t-shirt designing as well. Certain designs allow you to print all over, so you can see over here this is a color blast t-shirt. However, certain designs might only enable you to insert a logo. So from here, we can pick out the type of design we want, if we want a all over print or if there is only a section of the t-shirt where we want to print our design on. So from here, I'm going to take this design over here, which is a unisex garment dyed t-shirt. It is $13 and I might want to go with this heavy cotton tee because it is cheaper and it does have a lot of different colors. We have 12 print providers, 7 print providers, 13 print providers, so I think I'm going to go with this one. And once I've chosen the item that I want to display on my Shopify store, I can get started with customization. So I'll click on start designing over here to start creating my design for my Shopify store. Now for this particular t-shirt, I want to insert my own brand logo here. So I will click on upload on the left and click on my device. From here, I can upload any logo, image, or design that I have created. So let's say I want to open this one up. And now once I've done that, I will resize this like so. Now you guys will see on the right, it's going to give you a warning. So this is going to be a low quality image because it was a logo. So I designed it in a really small pixel size. So it's best if you always have a design where on the right, you have the resolution really high. So the resolution should always say high resolution. Now Printify does its best to improve the resolution of any of your given designs. 
So even if you have designed something that is in a smaller size, Printify will do its best to create a uplifted version of your particular print. Now on the bottom, you also have the option to create prints, but I don't want that. So I'm going to keep it as a simple text. And then I can select the variants. So on what colors do I want to provide this particular type of shirt on? I want this in white and then I want to provide this in black as well and I'll click on update. And now for the black version what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a black logo instead. So to do that I can click on make a specific design for black and then click on the logo and then I'll delete it. Then I'll click on upload and upload the alternate version of my logo where the background is black so I can create a different variation of the same t-shirt with the black logo instead. Now once I've done that I am going to, I think I only want two colors so once we have done that we can click on the left section over here to insert our own text, our own graphics as well as use some of the pre-existing templates. Now, once you have completed your design, you're going to click on save product on the bottom right. And once you click on save product, you are going to choose the mockups that you want. So the front, back, the person, let's say I want this to be our mockup image. And then below that, we have the product description, and this is going to be our logo T. And then after that, we have the size table to the description. So if you want to insert a size table in your description, you can add that as well. And then you have the pricing. So you can click on select all and click on edit price. And let's say for our product, it's going to be $30. Just like that, I have set a retail price of $30 and it's going to display the profit I have for each individual variant. Now, we are selling sizes S to 5XL, but let's say in your standard sizing for the rest of your products, you only offer products up till large, so small, medium, large. So I can go on ahead and only add those instead. Now, below that, once we've done that, we are going to click on connect a store or you know your store will be connected so this is our shopify store over here and we're going to just make sure that it's connected to our shopify store and now i'm just going to paste my shopify url over here like this and click on connect and once the connection has been verified and established, our products can now be displayed on our Shopify store. So you guys can see over here now on Printify, we have our print on demand. And now if I go into my product on the Shopify section, I can go on ahead and click on browse product or, you know, view the products that I have designed and display them onto my Shopify store. So as you guys can see, it's pretty easy and simple and you can display multiple different types of products onto your Shopify store. This enables you to create some customized products that are going to be very easy to ship and can have a great quality and maintain a certain consistency because when you are working with Printify, they have the surety that you will have a consistent product throughout all of your customer orders. So you don't have to worry about any supplier messing up your item or the item being delayed or having warehousing or shipping issues as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.